Hi, my name is Matthew with Garmin Product Support, and today I'm going to walk you through a map update on your Garmin automotive device using Garmin Express on a Windows computer. This process may be new to you, however, I know we can successfully complete this together. To complete a map update, you will need your Garmin automotive device, the included USB cable, and a Windows personal home computer. Many work or company computers won't allow you to connect an external device. A home high-speed internet connection from a cable or DSL company is also required for this process. The map update process will not work on a cell phone hotspot or satellite internet. The files are simply too large. You can contact your internet service provider if you aren't sure what type of connection you have. First, we will plug your Garmin automotive device into the computer. Take the big end of the USB cable and plug it directly into the USB port on the computer. We want to ensure we are not using a hub or any USB ports on a monitor. We do want to plug your Garmin device directly into the computer. Some computers only have USB-C ports, which may require a USB-C cable or an adapter to plug into a Garmin device. Contact your computer's manufacturer for additional information on USB-C ports. Then, take the small end of the cable and plug it into the port directly on your Garmin device. We do not want to use any ports that may be on the device's mount. These are only for use in your vehicle and not for updating your maps. Many Garmin automotive devices will display a picture to note that your device is successfully connected. You can also check to see if the battery icon displays a lightning bolt. Either will indicate your device is receiving power from your computer. Some devices will display a message banner that you must tap to connect to the computer. Touch this message. This message will only show for a few seconds. You can still connect to the computer by touching Settings, followed by Tap to Connect to Computer. If your device displays a message asking if you want to enter file transfer mode, select Yes or Continue. This mode will allow the device to communicate with the computer. Now that you have plugged in your device, we will open your preferred internet browser, like Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, or Microsoft Edge. Find the address bar at the top of your browser and type in garmin.com forward slash express. The forward slash key is located next to your shift key. Ensure that the forward slash is placed between .com and the word express. Once garmin.com forward slash express is typed, press enter on your keyboard. Once you have reached garmin.com forward slash express, click download for Windows. This selection will be a blue button at the bottom of your screen. What happens next will depend on which internet browser you are using. In this video, we will show you each experience. First, let's look at Google Chrome. After selecting Download for Windows, you will see the downloaded file of Garmin Express in the top right corner of your screen. When it finishes downloading, use your mouse to single left click the file, which is named Garmin Express.exe. In Microsoft Edge, you will see the downloaded file in the top right corner of your screen. When it finishes downloading, click Open File. If you are using Mozilla Firefox, a download icon that looks like an arrow will appear in the top right of your browser. Left click on the arrow, then left click Garmin Express.exe. If you are unable to find the downloaded file using these methods, Windows does have a function that will allow you to find your download. Hold down the control key on the bottom left of your keyboard. While holding down the control key, also press the letter J. This will bring up all of your downloaded files. Single left click on the Garmin Express.exe file. The Garmin Express installer will now open. A window will appear asking you to read and agree to the terms and conditions. 
you must check the box before using your mouse to single left click the install button. If you don't see this window appear, check to see if you have a Garmin Express icon showing at the bottom of your screen. Single left click this icon to bring up the Garmin Express installer window. You have now successfully found, downloaded, and installed Garmin Express. The rest of the map update process takes place in the easy to use Garmin Express program. Click Launch Garmin Express when the install is complete. The Garmin Express program will open on your computer and give you the option to add a device. Click Add a device. If Garmin Express does not recognize your device, try a different USB port on your computer, preferably a USB port on the back of a desktop computer or any other USB port on a laptop PC. We can also ensure the USB cable's connection is secure. A loose connection to the PC or on your device can indicate a loose or damaged port. Next, we will need to ensure your device has some battery charge. If your device's display does not turn on at all, or only shows a battery icon when connected to a computer, we will want to let it sit for about 15 minutes to receive a charge. If the device has not powered on after 15 minutes, hold the power button for 30 seconds. This will turn on your device. Once Garmin Express finds your device, we will need to single left click, add device. Once Garmin Express has added your device, if you choose, you can register your device by adding your email address in the box. You will also have the option to receive product news and exclusive offers. Then single left click Next. You can now add a nickname to your device. This isn't necessary, but can be useful if you have multiple devices. Then click Next. You will then have the option to share your device data with Garmin to improve our products and apps. This is optional and will not impact the usability of your device. Click yes or no. We have now arrived at the updates available page. This is the launching point for adding content to your Garmin device. Your device may have a software update available, a map update available, or both. So this button may read update software, update maps, or install all. Each path begins with this selection. One final note, your device may require a software update before installing a new map. In this case, the software update will be installed before returning you to this page, where you will then have the option to update maps. Next, read the terms and conditions before clicking Accept. The update process may take several hours. Don't unplug your device while updates are in progress. Now, after reading these important notes, click Continue. It is possible the software updates will require you to restart your device. This will be indicated by an orange bar before proceeding to any available map updates. This particular device has been updated. It needs to be restarted. To restart your device, disconnect it from the computer, wait five seconds, and then plug it back in. This will restart the device. As a reminder, we always want to pinch the USB cord away from the device without pulling on the cable. This will help to ensure we do not damage the port. Once you plug your device back in, it may take a few minutes for Garmin Express to recognize it before installing your maps. Now, there is a possibility your device may not have enough space to install the map update. If you don't have enough space, you will be asked to use a memory card. Insert a compatible microSD memory card into your device now. A 16 gigabyte memory card is recommended. The space for the memory card may be on the side, back, or bottom of your device. In any case, the space is just big enough for a micro SD card. This screen will let you know the memory card has been properly installed. 
click continue. Now the map updates will begin downloading. The map update is pretty big so it may take a few hours to complete. Be sure to keep your device plugged in until Garmin Express shows the updates are complete. Once complete, you can unplug your device from the computer. The update process will be much simpler for you next time since you now have Garmin Express installed on your computer. In the future, you can just open Garmin Express, select your device, and Express will search for updates. Feel free to watch this video anytime you need to complete a map update. And please visit Garmin Support Center at support.garmin.com for more videos and articles to help you learn more about your Garmin device. Thank you for watching.